Hi, my name is Katrina Stavlund-Diklau. I'm a researcher here in the lab of neurobiology. And here we investigate the very devastating disease amyotrophic lateral sclerosis or ALS. And ALS is a motor neuron disorder that affects the motor neurons which connects to our muscles and control our muscle function. Um, and in ALS, this connection is lost initially and the motor neurons die, which then renders patients wheelchair bound and eventually die of respiratory failure. So to get a better understanding of what is happening in this disconnection between the motor neurons and the muscle cells, we created this new in vitro model where we use induced pluripotent stem cells or iPSCs. So we made iPSC derived motor neurons and cultured them together with muscle cells in these microfluidic devices which have two compartments and we can have these cells interact through tiny channels uh, in the system. What we found is that the ALS motor neurons have a less tendency to form connections with the muscle cells than when we compare them to healthy motor neurons. Now, there are many studies that show that uh, glia cells such as astrocytes have an influence on the disease progression of ALS. So to investigate this further, we also integrated iPSC-derived astrocytes into our model. And we found that the astrocytes from ALS patients are uh, toxic to the motor neuron network and they are toxic to these connections between the motor neurons and the muscle cells. And this is due to two different uh, mechanisms. One is that the astrocytes are losing their natural supportive functions. We also see that they're taking on a, a toxic role where they secrete a lot of cytokines to the environment which disrupts the network. And um, we hope that we can use this model to get a better insight into what's happening in the ALS which is going, what is going wrong. Um, but we are also able to use this model for uh, drug testing in order to hopefully develop a